Thank you for tuning in here YouTube. What we're going to do today is adjust the variator. A lot of people will notice that when they have the variator to the complete rear position, the tractor does not want to pull. A lot of times that can be in slippage of the belt. Either the primary or the secondary drive belt which you'll see here. So if either one of these belts have stretched you'll need to adjust your variator. If you've replaced them or any part such as I have just replaced my clutch rod. Remove the inspection plate you'll see the adjuster, the adjusting yoke, the pin. Now the second step is to remove the pin from the yoke drilled pin at the bottom of the adjuster and also to go under your tractor you'll remove the pin from the clutch rod yoke at the end of the clutch rod and then you'll also remove the pin the carter pin I'm trying to get an angle where you can see here you'll remove the carter pin from the end of the brake rod because you're going to have to adjust all of these To adjust the variator, according to the John Deere operator's manual, first thing we want to do is move the variator ground speed control lever to the fifth notch. One, two, three, four, five. That'll be three from the back, or three back from the front. Right there. Remove the inspection plate. Is your second thing you want to do to open the adjusting hole we're going to remove the spring locking pin and it's out of the drilled pin I've already removed those and you're also going to want to remove your pins from your drilled pins from the front of the uh, brake rod and also the one pin off the yoke the end of the clutch we're ready to move on to step four right here on the engine now remove the spark plug wire so that the engine will not start as we insert the key and it says to crank the engine over several times so the variator will move into the area it's supposed to be in we then come around we pull the pin out and we push the yoke to the top and we start to adjust with the pin drilled pin removed we adjust by turning the yoke on the threads either making it longer shorter in or out and I do keep this well oiled so I will get my hands fairly greasy on this one 
until the pin, while holding the rod, all the way in the upward position, until that drilled pin can be reinserted easily. Just by eyeballing, I think I have it right there. I'm going to give it a try. Okay, now successfully that is back into place. The reason this needs to be adjusted to where it is all the way at the top of its travel as you raise it up is so that when you pull back on the variator, the variator will push it back down so that the rod that's inside this housing pushes it down and slows the tractor. Now, we will take our half inch spacer. I like to turn it so that the flat surface is on the clutch rod and the C-channel faces up. It seems to hold better that way for me. And I simply press down the clutch Place it in, and then I adjust. Now the you will adjust rod. the clutch rod yoke in the same manner until the pin will slide in with no resistance. So we can already see that this one needs to be adjusted longer. Now I will reinsert my cotter pin and then go to adjusting the brake. Now with the clutch adjusted, or the clutch rod adjusted, we will temporarily connect the brake rod because we're going to have to turn the engine over for step nine. And move the variator back. To the slow position for place one. The reason the engine has to turn over is because if you don't use the engine to turn it over when you jerk it back, you'll simply not have it closing the variator the way it should. Turn the engine over as we move it back at the same time. our first position. See how the belts have changed to where you're at a big pulley on the main drive and the pulley has been reduced for the small drive. That gives you a gear for pulling. I have a piece of three-quarter plywood here. Now what John Deere recommends is that we have a three-quarter inch clearance from where the pedal when fully pressed that the pedal will come down and stop at three-quarters of an inch above the deck. This gives you room for your brake to work. If you cannot get that three-quarter of an inch, you take that nut off and you adjust the whole brake rod until the pedal will stop level at the deck top 
just like so. Now that's it for adjusting the variegator. Now all you have to do is put it back together. Always remember to reconnect that spark plug so that whenever you turn the key, 